Salut à tous, c'est Trek pour la chaîne Imaginaire. On reprend sur The Council. On venait d'éviter à Pérou de se suicider. C'est pas si une très bonne chose. Et on n'avait pas changé de camp pour le moment. Je sais pas non plus si c'est une bonne chose. Bon, on va voir. On va discuter avec Lord Mortimer. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Pérou's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Tell me, my lord, can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. I wanted to thank you for your support during the conference. You've made the right choice, and it gives me tremendous satisfaction to have you with me on this project. And much good may it do you, my lord. But look at the voters. It needs to be unanimous. And we just lost Peru. The battle is already lost, if you ask me. Trust me, Louis. We still have a few more cards to play. You'll see. Anything can happen in politics. I'll see you later, my lord. Mm, bon, j'ai pas vraiment envie de m'étendre sur ce problème, donc il faut qu'on tourne notre chambre. J'espère que c'est pas la fin de l'épisode. Ça va me faire faire du montage. Je vais pas vous laisser avec un épisode de 3 minutes 30. Euh, un peu con, alors ma chambre, toujours perdu dans ces couleurs qui se ressemblent. Euh, alors on est au bout là, ok. Faire tout le tour. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis, once again, bravo for what you did. If it weren't for you, Peru would have blown his brains out. You've got courage. I like this. We just lost a vote for the next two votes, and we already had fewer votes than Hull. I must absolutely find a solution. Excuse me, sir, but given recent events, I find it somewhat cavalier to return to your political preoccupations so quickly. Yes, yes, I know. You must find me inhumane. But what can I do? We are here to decide upon the fate of our nations, Louis. It is time you realize what is at stake here. I hold nothing against Monsieur Peru personally, but what concerns me most right now is to not lose sight of the objectives of this meeting. In short, we haven't a minute to lose. I'll leave you now. Just a minute. What did Duchess Hillsborough propose last night? Oh, nothing worth worrying about. The pretty little pudding eater found no better tactic than to threaten me. She would have been better off sliding into my bed. At least we wouldn't have wasted part of the night talking for nothing. Threatened you, you say? That's what I said. I think I'm going to have to be careful of English troops crisscrossing the Mediterranean for a while. 
The witch would let loose the wrath of the English crown on my august person. But if she thinks that would scare a Bonaparte, she is mistaken. Now, Louis, time is running short, and as I said, I'm in a hurry. I have to go now. I will see you later. Bon, l'honneur est sauf. Emilie n'a pas couché avec Bonaparte. Ouf. Bon, moi je vais voir Pierre Rouge, alors. Sorry, sir, but you cannot go through. We have very clear instructions from Lord Mortimer. Monsieur Pierrou must rest. Ouais, je vous aime de moins en moins quand même, là, les mecs. No answer. Nothing. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily? Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I... I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? Plus bouger. Bon. On va retourner l'espioncer. Tranquille ou. Ah, moi j'aurais peur en dormir dans une chambre pareille. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis. Ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in. Quick. to get inside Emily's room through the shit it's locked as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about A letter from William the Younger addressed to Emily. 
He's the present you know Prime Minister well. of the United Kingdom. A letter from William Pitt the right. Elder Stop. addressed to Emily. We'll end up losing he was the English Prime Minister. What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Ah bah pas du tout là les filles. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You prissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me. Go on then, shoot. After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going on? An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I... That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... You gave me something. I wasn't feeling very well, and, and you gave me something. What was it? My handkerchief. And you even kept it. It was stained with your blood. Louis, I already told her. This is all a waste of time. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Ah, oh, j'en sais rien, je sais pas qui est qui, putain. Did we get a chance to speak? Certainly not. I was exhausted and went to bed. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. <sighs> I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on. She's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. in the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. 
on the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? Remember? How did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? Sword toward the Gorgon. Gorgon toward the shield. Shield toward the sword. Lantern toward the shield. Of course. I told her how to do it. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Vous voulez vraiment qu'on parle de la taille de mon engin? Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night. And that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty... That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us! Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in! It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. What? What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? Bon, j'y comprends rien à cette histoire. Ah, il arrête par terre. God, they're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Cassons-nous. Bon, ça commence à être sérieusement le bordel. Hein. Ouais, c'est pas un super coloc. Il hein. y a plus reposant.
Alors on va essayer de retourner à la crypte. J'espère qu'on va pas nous refaire faire tout un tas de tests. Il faut passer toutes ces salles. Ah, bien que ma mère soit un petit peu plus explicite sur le bordel qui se passe parce que... Peut-être Emma que j'aurais dû protéger. Je sais pas si elle est morte définitivement. Enfin, on n'a même pas regardé. Tout le monde s'en fout, apparemment. Parce que bon, on n'est pas obligé de mourir quand on se rend une balle de, de pistolet. Surtout que c'était pas forcément des pistolets modernes. Il vous balance une bastos à, tout, à toute vitesse, donc bon. Elle est peut-être sortie la miss. Bon, descendons. Bon, tu es un peu plus causante. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No. That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, mother. If only. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and logical. I know you are going to find it hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years On ago, le morceau. I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, Listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they got horns and a, a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Mortimer et Holmes. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, Well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchert was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? No, I didn't. Why? Good. We'll deal with it later. I went beyond the nightmare, Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. 
They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me, did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. You mean the conference? How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way. You found me. You have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic. He was flamboyant. You mean Mortimer? He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages, until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least, I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you refused, of course. Why naturally, Louis. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the Order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. 
Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchert's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to... It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing, and then I disposed of her. I am sorry for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. You're probably right. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I want to know what happened between you oh, and my yeah. sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices. That's all you need to know. All right, but you're not getting away with it so lightly. Once we get back to Paris, be sure I won't be letting it go. We'll see in Paris then. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He wants the United States to occupy all the North American territory. France should recover Louisiana and give it to the United States. In that case, the Americans would just have to push west to chase the Spanish from the continent once and for all. And as Mortimer controls Washington, you may just as well say that it will put him at the head of a world superpower. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There, that's why we are here.
Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement the Third Cross, the Nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the Exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Oula. Euh... Ouais, on va s'arrêter là, je peux quitter. Donc, je pense que je vais revenir à cet écran juste après le chargement. Donc merci à vous en tout cas de m'avoir suivi sur The Council. On se retrouve très prochainement pour la suite de ce, para... de ce chapitre. Salut